Hello YouTube, this is Jack and today I'll be showing you my stock replica of Voyager 1 in uh, Kerbal Space Program. So right now I have no way of getting it up into space because that antenna is so long. I might figure out a way to do it later, but right now you're going to have to use HyperEdit, which uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. And the craft file itself is also in the description below if you want to go grab that. And if I do figure out a way to get it into space, kind of like normally without HyperEdit, and keep it somewhat realistic looking, I will put the craft file and a little notification description thing on the screen to let you know and that way you can go get it. So right now it has about 700 delta V right after you eject it it gets 200 delta V so right now the craft has 200 delta V or so and that's kind of realistic to how the real Voyager 1 was. Right now I don't know why that wheel is doing that that's supposed to be the uh, gold disc and it's kind of out of place and spinning so I'm gonna have to disable that but um yeah it's it's really looking good I really like how it turned out the rockets are balanced even though it's crazy how uh, light those little trusses are but they're balanced yeah I got the um, radioisotope generators that generate the electricity for the craft and uh, I also have the experiments the sort of like the camera set up and I like how they turned out they look pretty good and yeah the wheel right there is just not in the right spot it's supposed to be right in the middle and that's the smallest piece that also has kind of a gold tint so that's why I use that I could have used the light but it is too big so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this stock Voyager 1 video if you want me to review more craft or to try to replicate more craft just say so in the comments below or send me a craft file I don't know but uh, yeah leave a like if you liked and subscribe I'll catch you guys next time